All right, I have built this setup just for the purpose of seeing what it takes to make things fail and melt. When I have this running, whatever I have suspended between these bars and those bars will get 81 amps to run through it. And for this experiment, we're gonna have 81 amps running through the tab on a 15 amp receptacle. How long will it hold up? Before we go ahead and see how long it lasts, give me 15 seconds to tell you about today's sponsor. If you're a business owner, it doesn't matter if you're a plumber, an electrician, or whatever home service you provide, you need to give Jobber a try. There's no need to be still using pen and paper for your invoicing, your booking, everything for your entire business can be done through Jobber. Click the link in my bio. That link right there will give you 14 days of Jobber for free. You have nothing to lose. Give it a try. All right, let's go melt some receptacles. Here's the before, 84 degrees, stopwatch, temperature probe on the tab. Let's turn it on. Okay, 82 amps. Oh, it's already heating up. Can you hope you guys can see the stopwatch? It's glaring on my end a little bit. And uh, if I stutter and misspeak, it's gonna have to stay because um, it takes a while to reset this. I gotta let everything cool back off if I misspeak. But it is climbing pretty fast. Because I'm feeding the receptacle twice. Once through a number 10 on a hook and once through a 14 on a backstab. This will tell us which path is better. So we're getting 57 amps on the 10, 22 amps on the backstab. So there's less resistance in the 10, obviously. Can't do too many variables to tell if that's uh, because of the 10 or because of the backstab. So, must be resistance in the different breakers as they're aging on this old panel, but we got 30 amps on that line. 14 on that. 5 on that. 8 on that. And 11 on that. So this one keeps tripping every once in a while. It just did right there. So now after that trips, we're at 24. 8, 23, 19. Five minutes in. I don't see anything wrong with that tab yet. Uh, maybe there's a little discoloration. It's kind of hard to tell on the sun. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. At 618, this is what the thermal imaging camera shows. Thermal imaging of the panel I'm feeding the experiment from. It looks like a lot of red, but if you notice, like that's only 75 degrees and 90 degrees, red doesn't always mean the same thing. Red just means the hottest you're seeing. So if you look at the temperature scale on the right, it's one thing I don't like about these, they're a little deceiving. You see red and you think you're cooking stuff. That just means that's where the hot spots are. Okay, we're at 10 minutes and 30 seconds, and temperature really hasn't changed in a while. I'm gonna see if this tab is even getting softer, maybe. Nope. Everything looks still pretty uh, unaffected. The heavy load on this panel is causing a voltage difference on neutral to equipment ground of four and a half volts because of the distance and the heavy load. So we're 14 minutes in, 14 and a half minutes in, uh, I think I'm going to call it that this is just can't, this can handle 80 amps. <laughs> I don't know. For people who say those melt really quick, uh, if you put them on a 20 amp circuit, that's just silly. The issue is, I can't believe it, but my hot plates have come up to temperature and they're turning off. So the current is now dropping below 80 at the peak. Okay, I've shut it down. Um, that's not even warm to the touch. Like... It's not even warm yet. There's no way that was even close to melting. That's amazing. I'm disappointed that I didn't get to see anything melt, so I'm gonna run the 80 amps through this 16 gauge lamp cord I found in one of my bins. It's only a 15 minute test. I'm sure not under normal use for any extended period of time that receptacle would fail under 80 amps, but uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. But let's make something cool happen at least at the end of the video. All right, I only have one roll of lamp cord. So this is a one take shot, here we go. Why do we only have 60 amps? Am I missing something? 
For some reason, I'm only seeing 60 amps, but it's already... Oh, there we go. Oh, what the hell? That was even counter exciting. Son of a gun. So we didn't get any flame, but the roll has turned into goo. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Look at that's the inside plastic of the roll. And the cable is all. So yeah, it almost failed too quick. It was almost ah, that's hot. Son of a bitch. A gun. Sorry about the switch. Son of a gun. Look at that. Ah, that is freaking hot. Like I said, I only had one roll for one take, so uh not that I could do about that goofy laugh or the swearing. But look, it turned it into like, almost looks like marshmallow. So there wasn't flames, but that's definitely pretty neat how fast it turned into. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think that's a cool setup. I just got to maybe come up with uh, different ideas of what to melt. Let me know what you think of what I can put in there that, you know, isn't going to be like the lamp cord and fail after one second, but also isn't going to be like the receptacle and withstand the abuse. Oh, that is really hot to touch at certain areas, which I'm sure is a surprise to nobody but me. Oh, look, it's coming apart. That is gooey. What was it on there? 10 seconds? That's amazing. All right. Thank you very much.